Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation here at Westlake High School in the city of South Fulton, Georgia for a PSN spotlight on the Westlake Lions football team. The last time we checked in with the Lions was back in May when they hosted their annual spring game and took on the Mays Raiders. Now the Lions wrapped up 2018 with a 9-3 overall record, 5-0 in their region, capturing the Georgia High School Association Class 7A Region 2 title. However, in the second round of the GHSA 7A playoffs, 24-0 loss to Lowndes would end the Westlake Lions season. Well, we decided it was time to circle back in and check in on the Lions and new head coach Bobby May to see how things went this summer as they get ready for this upcoming season. Coach, thanks for having us come out today to cover you guys. You're getting ready for uh, some full contact here in another day or so. Uh, when we last saw you, it was the spring game up against Mays, and uh, I got a chance to talk to you briefly after that game. You talked about going into your you know, first official season as head coach, some of the things you wanted to make sure the guys bought into you know, getting your system going. How has that been going for you this summer? It's been going pretty good. They've been working hard. They've been buying in. You know, we're all about, you know, maintaining discipline, maintaining a, temp a tempo and uh, building a family. So uh, it's been going good. we got a long ways to go, but I think everybody does in August. So Last year, you guys capped off the season 9-3 overall. You uh, did win the region, 5-0 uh, and in your region. However, you guys lose to Lowndes. How did that, you know, affect the guys? What did you see them from, you know, from that loss? What did you see out of them this summer wanting to, as far as wanting to get back and get back in action onto the field? The expectation was to, to beat Lowndes, and they came and they, they just played better than us. So, um, you know, it hurts, and hopefully we can build off it. We don't. We lost a lot of guys from that team. So a lot of these kids playing this year did not play in that game, um, but they got to watch and see, you know, the disappointment in the seniors. So hopefully they learn from that, and they know that, you know, the goal is not to, um, you know, the goal is to get to the playoffs and make noise and, um, you know, play in December. So um, that's what we're working for. We're not there yet. We won't be there for a while, but, um, you know, that's the goal. Biggest points of focus for you guys offensively as you guys get ready? Um, offensively is the offensive line. You know, um, we're only, we're only going to start three seniors on offense. We're only going to start three on defense. So we're really, really young. But our offensive line especially, we're going to start three sophomores probably. Um, so offensive line, I think we have really good skill at the receiver position. We have two, two really good quarterbacks. We have a couple good running backs. But the offensive line is kind of, you know, unproven at this point. So. And then on the other side of the ball, defensively, what's kind of been your main goal? Uh, I think defensively uh, is, is fine in a couple linebackers. Um, but the, the goal is the same, fly around, uh, play hard, tackle well, force turnovers, uh, be disciplined. But, yeah, as far as position-wise, we've got to find a few linebackers. You guys open up the season with a rivalry. Again, it's not something you're not uh, used to. You, uh, Creekside down the street there, obviously the guys, a lot of these kids play together, Pop Warner, even maybe some middle school ball. So knowing you open up the season with the rivalry like that, you know, is there some hype around that? Or is it just, you know, hey, let's just take it one game at a time. It doesn't really matter who it's against. Um, I think that's kind of our mentality as coaches. I'm not sure if that's the kids. I mean, we do play we do play Roswell first in the preseason, so um, you know. But obviously, that one doesn't necessarily count. So Creekside's the first real game, and yeah, all these kids know everybody at Creekside. They all know us, and uh, I think they're looking forward to it. And um, like I said, though, I'm just trying to get them to focus on the day to day and not worry about Creekside. Creekside's got a really really talented team, um, and they're going to be a really really good team. So when that week comes, we'll, we'll prepare for it as such. But as of right now, we're just working on us, getting through camp, and uh, you know, trying to stay focused. One last question. What's the word you want to put out there to that Westlake community that's always been very supportive of the, of the program? Yeah, we got a lot of great kids, so come out and support us and uh, continue to do what you've been doing. And um, like I said, you know, our kids have been working really hard, so they'd, they'd love to have your support. So. Coach, appreciate it. All right, we want to thank Coach May and the Westlake Lions for being a part of this PSN Spotlight. It's always a special moment when we get a chance to check in with the Lions. After all, this is where things kind of got started for Prep Sports Nation. From Westlake High School in the city of South Fulton, Georgia, I'm Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation.